life as a conception, because my identity is my creation, and, and that's key to keep in mind. There's lots of, obviously, input channels, but you're the output channel, and you're deciding, based on all those inputs, how you arranged it. And you don't need to be anything like your genetic profile, or your family profile, your society profile, cultural profile. You can be completely uniquely you. So that life's a conception. So the levels of conception, you're conceived in the womb of the mother, first conception. Then you're conceived in a planetary magnetic field, second conception. Then you're conceived in the universe of your galaxy, third conception. Then you're conceived in the dominant of the super galaxy, which controls the galaxy that you're in. And then you're conceived in the infinity of the black hole. So in deep space, there's black holes are kind of sucking huge components of creation. That's where you get the gong characters who will tell you that the Big Bang was a strike of the gong and that opened up another dimension in the universal sound structure. And from that sound, a whole flow of creation occurred. So those different levels of conception, you want to integrate those into your identity so that you're not just a person of this level or of this caliber, that you're have a broad, a kind of global, infinite, galactical, universal, cosmic conception. So that if we can get ourselves with the energy coming in to upgrade our self-identity, then we have done a good job. But how you conceive of yourself is the life you're going to have. And Kundalini teaches you that you're the author of that identity, no one else. So. Everyone is out there trying to program you to perceive, act, behave in a certain way, but it's your choice. So Kundalini ultimately gives you the freedom to be who you want to be, but you also have to make the self-identity that's beyond just the womb, the family, the society, the culture, into a global, galactic, universal being. And these sounds we use, these mantras, work on all those levels of your conception, of your identity. So what we want to do when we chant, we want to listen. I want to listen to the sound of my cosmically conceived being that's using this finite vehicle. And if I can hear that sound, integrate that sound, express that sound, broadcast that sound, then I can manifest with that sound.